Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gate of Heaven video diary where we are exploring the Dawnbreakers, Nabil's historical chronicle of the events of the life of the Bab, who is the inspiration behind my upcoming new album, Gate of Heaven. And, and don't forget the, the next song from the album, Wondrous Paradise, is going to be released on Saturday, March 16th, and I'm looking forward to, to sharing that with you. Uh, if you've just joined us for the video diary, you're very welcome. Feel free to catch up on the previous videos so you can catch up on the story. I'm here at It's Not Rocket Science Studios in Portland, Oregon, where we recorded the album. And uh, in the last video, the, the Bab had, had gathered his, his 18 letters of the living, his 18 first disciples, and he had, he had sent Mullah Hussein on this very special mission to Tehran to find a hidden treasure in that city. And uh, of course, uh, Mullah Hussein found this hidden treasure in the person of Baha'u'llah. And so on receiving the news of Mullah Hussein's successful mission to Tehran, the Bab starts to prepare for, to go on his pilgrimage to Arabia, where he's going to visit the, the sacred places of Islam, and he's going to announce his message in the very heart of the Muslim world. So the Bab sets out from Shiraz, accompanied by his disciple Qudus, and his servant, who is an Ethiopian man called Mubarak. And so the Bab, Qudus and Mubarak make their way to the port of Bushir, where they board a ship for Arabia. And they travel across the Persian Gulf and around the Arabian Peninsula. And it's described in the Dawnbreakers as an extremely arduous, uncomfortable, stormy journey. And yet, during the whole journey, the Bab is in this state of constant creativity. These, these verses of divine revelation are just flowing out of him ceaselessly and Qudus is acting as his scribe, writing down all of the Bab's words. And Nabil paints a, a great picture in the Dawnbreakers of this, this, this ship being swept back and forth across these stormy seas. And yet there is the Bab in total peace and composure on the ship, um, uh, revealing his, his, his divine verses and Qudus diligently writing down the verses uh, that, that, that the Bab uh, reveals. And there's actually one moment in, in this chapter that, uh, that always kind of makes me laugh. The, the Bab, amidst all these storms, the Bab composes a prayer for improved technology of travel. And uh, I don't know if th that prayer, it's not actually in the Dawnbreakers, but I don't know if that has been recorded anywhere uh, or if it's available to read anywhere. If, if any of you know if that prayer is, uh, is translated and is so available somewhere online, maybe you could leave it in the comments so, so that other people could see it too, this, the Bab's prayer for improved means of travel. So there's, a, there's another episode that happens on the ship that I wanted to share with you, which actually isn't in the Dawnbreakers. It comes from this book by Baluzi, simply called The Bab. So while he's on the ship, The Bab evokes from all of the passengers this really tremendous respect. And uh, there is one passenger who, who becomes very jealous of this respect that the Bab receives from, from his fellow passengers. And he starts to abuse the Bab. And he really starts to mistreat the Bab quite badly. And it ex escalates to a point where the captain of the ship decides that he's no longer going to tolerate this man's behavior. And he orders his ship workers to throw this man overboard. And so the ship workers tie him up and they're about to throw him overboard. And the Bab hurls himself between the passenger and the ship workers, and he refuses to let them do it. And he insists that the captain uh, overlooks this man's behavior. And he says something very touching. He, he says, uh, he says that people who behaved in that manner harmed only themselves. So one should be tolerant and forgiving. So, after two months at sea on the stormy seas of the Persian Gulf, the ship arrives in Arabia and the Bab, Qudus and Mubarak make their way to their first stop on the pilgrimage, the holy city of Mecca. 
And when they arrive in Mecca, the first thing that the Bab does is he distributes food to the poor. And then he proceeds to, to join all the other thousands of pilgrims who have come from all over the world to, to go on their pilgrimage and, and, and they circumambulate the Kaaba, the holy shrine in the center of Mecca. And there's, there's another episode that, uh, that is recounted in Baluzi's book, which I, I think it's not in the Dawnbreakers, unless I, unless I missed it. Uh, but uh, there's, there's this very dramatic moment where the Bab is circling the Kaaba and he, he grabs hold of, of the ring of the door of the Kaaba and he cries out to all the thousands of pilgrims circling the Kaaba. He cries out three times, I am that Ka'im, that promised one, whose advent you have been awaiting. He, he cries this out three times and there's this wave of conf confusion that just ripples across the crowd and 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 uh, there's a uh, the, the the thousands of pilgrims are engulfed in this this uh, this hushed whisper of confusion and this moment of awe descends on mecca but there's such a contrast between the the magnitude of what the bab has just cried out to all these pilgrims and the the outer appearance of of looking at the bab as as just a, a, a pilgrim who looks like any other pilgrim. That the, the weight of what the Bab has just announced kind of goes over their head, and after a few moments, they brush it off and, and they continue circling around the Kaaba. So the Bab then proceeds to write a letter to the sheriff of Mecca in which he, he makes his claim as clear as day, and he has Caduce deliver this letter to the Sheriff of Mecca. But after three days, there's no response, and so Caduce goes back to the Sheriff and asks him for a response, and the, the Sheriff tells Caduce that he hasn't read the letter, and he's too busy, and he has he's just under too much pressure from work that he doesn't have time to deal with this. And so the Bab's message also goes over the head of the Sheriff of Mecca. But the Bab has accomplished what he intended to do uh, in Mecca, and he moves on to the next stop on his pilgrimage, the city of Medina, which is the, the place where the Prophet Muhammad is buried. And so the Bab goes to Medina to pay his respects to Muhammad. And in Medina, there is also the grave of Sheikh Ahmad, the, the founder of the Sheikhi school, who we, we learned about in one of the earlier videos. Sheikh Ahmad actually spent his very last days in Arabia and was buried in the cemetery of Medina. And the Bab visits this cemetery and there's a very poignant uh, picture that Nabil paints in the Dawnbreakers where uh, he, he, he describes a kind of imaginary conversation that goes on between the souls of all of the people who are buried in the cemetery of Medina and the soul of the Bab. And so I, I, I'd, I'd love to read this for you. Uh, these, all these souls in, in the cemetery, they, they, uh, they say to the Bab, Repair not unto thy native land, we beseech thee, O thou beloved of our hearts. Abide thou in our midst, for here, far from the tumult of thine enemies, who are lying in wait for thee, thou shalt be safe and secure. We are fearful for thee, we dread the plottings and machinations of thy foes. And the, the soul of the Bab responds to them, saying, Fear not. I am come into this world to bear witness to the glory of sacrifice. You are aware of the intensity of my longing. You realize the degree of my renunciation. Both I and Caduceus will be slain on the altar of our devotion to the King of Glory. The blood which we are destined to shed in his path will water and revive the garden of our immortal felicity. The drops of this consecrated blood will be the seed out of which will arise the mighty tree of God, the tree that will gather beneath its all-embracing shadow the peoples and kindreds of the earth. Grieve not, therefore, if I depart from this land, 
for I am hastening to fulfill my destiny. And so the Bab completes his pilgrimage and along with Kadus and Mubarak boards a ship back to Persia, to Iran, to enter the storm which he knows is coming. So we will pick up the story in the next video. Uh, as usual, I would be so grateful if you could do three things. If you, if you give this video a like, that way more people will see it. Uh, share it on your networks. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe to that. And also, if you would like to support my music and videos, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash lukeslot. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, Wondrous Paradise is going to be released on Saturday, March 16th, and I can't wait to share that song with you. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.